These are all the goodies that I've been using to take my face from this to this. Always wash my face with CeraVe, their foam facial cleanser. This is the one for oily skin. Now, if you have dry skin, Jonathan uses their hydrating facial cleanser. This one is for dry skin. So remember, turquoise green is for oily skin. Lime green is for dry skin. And always wash your hands before you wash your face. I know you might have washed your hands like minutes ago, but your hands have touched several things since then. Then I use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Ton Toner. <laughs> it's really great for getting the dead skin and cleaning the skin so you don't have to double cleanse while also adding hydration to your skin. Usually I have cotton rounds, but I ran out so we went full full napkin. Because it's the morning time and I haven't gone anywhere, the napkin isn't dirty. My face is actually very clean. However, at night it looks a lot different, especially if I go outside and I sweat. <laughs> After I do toner, I do the Ordinary Azalic Acid. It is definitely the best azalic acid I have found, and it's the highest that you can get without a prescription. And it's the least expensive. Yes. Every two to three days, I do do this BHA liquid exfoliant from Natrium. It's definitely the best I have ever had, and a liquid exfoliant is better than a physical exfoliant because physical exfoliants can tear little tears in your skin that you can't see, but they definitely damage the skin underneath especially, and so the liquid exfoliant does the job without damaging your skin. Using this deep pore cleansing mask by Kiehl's, I usually do this about twice a week, and it is absolutely amazing. Clay mask is amazing for anyone who has acne or has clogged pores. It helps to kind of pull out those impurities and then after that you can tone to kind of wipe away everything and pull out. I've really been loving this Caudalie eye cream. It's known to target dark spots and your girl got a few of them. <laughs> I love this applicator too. Using this for a couple of days but so far I absolutely love it. Using so many products that dry out my skin already we're using an, an oil-free moisturizer is just not an option. However, the moisturizers for dry skin are way too oily and way too thick, way too creamy, and way too pore clogging. So I found a beautiful alternative. It is the Collagen Superfusion Facial Oil by Charlotte Tilbury. It's absolutely amazing. It is so pretty. This oil I've been using for about a week or two, and it does not clog my pores. I have not broken out from it. And it gives me a perfect middle between being oily enough, my skin is moisturized and plump, to it but not too oily where my pores are getting clogged before we break open this new bottle i'm going to finish this sample bottle that i got <laughs> and sunscreen especially when you struggle with hyperpigmentation using sunscreen is a must because i'm already using so many chemicals on my face i really do not want to use a chemical sunscreen on a daily basis so i opted for a mineral sunscreen by super Goop. this one is a bio retinol plus mineral spf and it's spf 40. can't forget about the lips. I have been so in love with the Tatcha, the Kisu lip mask. I'm so in love with it that I went ahead and bought one for my purse too. It's absolutely amazing to use throughout the day, overnight. It is the stickiest lip mask I have ever tried. It does not wear off easily. It doesn't have like a strong scent, even though it does say it's Japanese peach lip jelly. It's definitely my favorite. I've tried several lip oils. I've tried a different lip mask and this one has become my favorite favorite. Love that it has a little applicator at the top so you can kind of keep your fingers out of it and you don't have to contaminate it with your fingers, the oils in your fingers. Absolutely love this. I also want to note that I do use tretinoin as well at night. Tretinoin, it is a steroid cream that helps to speed up the turn cell process, which kind of helps to push any bumps underneath the skin and any bumps on top of the skin, kind of push them on through their process so that you can extract them and heal them. So because it does speed up the cell turnover process, it will help with hyperpigmentation. And I'm done. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my 